everyone, Holly with Keller Beads and Kateri Designs. Today I'm going to do this um, whimsical uh, um, wind chime. And when I went through the uh, box of um, uh, antique beads and stuff, remember I kept stuff so that I because I wanted to make um, wind chimes out of it. And this is one of the things, and this will be my base unit for the wind chime. It has nice little holes on it already so that I can just attach things to it. And I've taken some of this old chain that right here to actually add to it, to add these um, on there. And so, um, and I'm gonna use some of the um, para wire. This is, um, oh, I think it's a 24, because it's very, very thin. So let's say if it's a 24, um, 22s, I know the 22 is thicker than this, so I think this is about a 24. It's not quite a 26, because I have 26 and it's more of um, like hair, almost like a hair um, width. Anyway, um, so I'm going to use this, some of this uh, to string through the holes. I can use larger um, uh, jump rings, but I want that whimsical look to it. Um, sometimes your whimsical looks um, kind of dangerous to touch because you don't want to get poked. And this beautiful cherry quartz is going to hang down in the center of this down here to help add some weight to, um, to make the wind chimes clink. So, um, I, uh, got some, um, flat tip, uh, pliers, some wire nippers. These are for uh, memory wire, but it actually cuts the wire, um, really well. And, um, then I don't have to do so much, um, of tapering the whole, uh, tapering the end. And you're going to need, if you're, if you are cutting wire, um, or um, adding stuff that you don't want to end up having someone poke their finger. You need to put glue over it or make sure that, that you use one of these, these um, um, wire um, burr things. It takes the burrs off along with your, um, if you use a, um, you can just go to the store and get um, a nail file that has the course and the stuff on it. These work perfect. Um, you can get them at the Dollar Tree all day long, and I love using those because they work amazingly with the wire. And then um, some kind of, uh, um, this one is one of those tools I got from previous, sorry, I'm, I'm trying really hard. We just got this, uh, just got this, um, what do you call it, the extension, and uh, I'm trying really hard. You can actually see my cord. But um, I'm trying. I'm trying it out. I really like it so far. It's out of the way. I can move my arms with the exception of I hit the wire. Let me see if I can get this wire out of the way so that it doesn't do that. There we go. So I'm not hitting it. And then um, the only problem with it is, um, you see how it bounces and stuff. Um, it takes the stability out if I hit it, and it just really just you know that can make people. I know it makes me like when I watch that kind of stuff it makes me sick to my stomach. So if it just trying to make it stable right now um i don't know why it's moving because when i tried it out earlier it wasn't let me see if i can get it to stop i'm so shaky it's like it's shaking okay and maybe it's because i'm moving the uh, desk when i lean in on it okay so hopefully this works out so we can do that but anyway see so i'm ne gonna need something where i can actually round the ends because i want something um when i make that uh, those little um, holders. I want them kind of round. I want them to go through. I want them to be safe, but also whimsical. Doesn't I don't want this to look like it was factory made. I don't want it to be perfect, perfect, because I do want that whimsical look. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> the, this stuff has come from uh, the uh, the last antique bead sale I got, and I kept. Some of these wires and stuff that I thought were really cool. And the um, the bead chain. Now this is something I could just throw over my neck and, you know, this is older and everything. But I'm just going to take it down and I'm just going to string out um, some different lengths to have hold my um, chimes on. And like I said, I'm going to use this cherry quartz for my center. So one of the things is that this is going to hold this right here. This is going to hold this. Um, and I get to have it hold, um, 
because I want it to come down through here. And actually, I can just clip it onto here. I don't have to do that. That's 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 fine. Now, I so saw this clip it onto here. Now, the problem with this is that this keeps coming undone because this is you know this is really old, and so it's moving. So I have a couple of things I can do. I can clip the whole thing off, which I don't want to do because this actually makes a good bar for me to use to hang stuff on. Um, and then, um, or I can put that glue on it like we talked about. So. I'm going to put the glue on it. Make sure I've got it. I'm gonna probably gonna have to. Yeah, this open. I'm gonna put the glue on it and to close it and keep it closed where it's not gonna move and it will take that point off. You can also take the point out because it sticks out just a little bit and just nip off that end. Let me get my glasses on so the piece doesn't go in my eye. And do you like this? Take your end because this is an old pen. And just take the end off and put it towards the put it towards your mat so you don't poke yourself. And you see we have this like rounded end. It's still a little bit sharp. Because I don't want anybody to get poked with it. I'm just scratch my nail polish. Be careful with it, especially when you're not. And just kind of round that end off. And if you have to, yeah, that's perfect. It's not sharp anymore. Love these things. So I'm gonna put this back in here. Like I said, because I want to use this bar. And I can't pull it up too much because it'll pull it out of the hole. And I can bend the hole in, but then I risk, every time you manipulate it, you risk popping it out. So what I'm going to do is just I'm gonna take some glue. And I'm out of the uh, E6000. Um, one of the things I don't like about E6000 is their tubes are not easy to use. And mine exploded on me. Literally. I mean, it went everywhere. And then I had, I went, okay, that's fine. And I went to get some other glue because I'd gotten glue out of that um, Mother Load Bee Haul. I got a whole bunch of glue in this big giant box of just different glues. And every single one of them that was jeweler's glue ex had exploded on itself. It must have been stuck outside or something. So that was kind of depressing. So I'm going to let this just dry right here for right now. And what I want to do, get this out of the way. What I want to do is I'm going to figure out how um, I want this to hang. And, and I was going to move this around but because I wanted to clip this onto it here. But really it's not necessary for me to do that. This is actually twisted into here. And this right here is just um, uh, looped in. So I can just take a uh, jump ring and put that in there and, and close that off. Let me get my little jump ring puller. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, what happened to all my jump ring thing? There. It went right past it. Didn't even know it. Okay. So I'm going to put this little thing on my finger. Once I figured out how to use these, I love them. I love it. I wish I'd had it the whole time. I actually have had one of these the whole time I've been beating and I had no idea what to do with it because, you know, not too bright sometimes. All right. So I think this one's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, there we go. You see that nice scratch that did when I tried to burr that. Sorry about the cat here, guys. But, you know, that's how, the life of the animals. It has the whimsical part of it, right? Okay, so we're just going to add this here. And what this does is this, like, shortcuts a lot of stuff. It's in it, when it's recycling... Sorry, my glasses are sitting right on top of my nose, making me sound like I have a cold. All right, it's like recycling and doing all these, you know, really cool things. Okay. See, and then once this dries, which it should dry fast, I can actually even use, I have an accelerator, but I don't like spraying it because it's kind of oily. It's supposed to be safe for everything, but it's kind of oily and it's kind of annoying. So just let that dry in there. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this down right here I'm gonna clip it right here um, or let's see how do we want to do this because we have these little things right here these little rings inside I'm sorry I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I'm having a hard time saying okay so we have these little rings well you can see the rings that are in there but there's like metal space in between and it's a hard metal so we want something really firm to hold this very heavy object 
and that will just clip there in the middle of it because we're right there in center I was gonna clip it up here but I don't think so I think it'll pull it down and then I'll use one of these and I'll go up with it but this is what will hold it down right here okay and we're gonna have to have something to hold it up here now all I think all I have in my drawer and I'll have to go look I think all I have in my drawer are oops upside down we don't want that getting all over there all I have in my drawer is the um the gold ones those little gold s swirls and so I'll have to look to see what I have so there's our centerpiece there so we know it's going to be about this long so we don't want anything we don't want these pieces longer than this we want them about midway and what I want to do is have t um oh let's say three or four let's see how many do we have here let's see we can have one, we're going to have one in the center here, which is where, right here where this orange one is, is really pretty much center. And so this orange one will be this one here. And so we can do one, two, three, four, five. We want to do evenly. So we do three on each side or two on each side. I think we're going to do two on each side. And that way um, it's not, because this is a smaller pendant, it's not like a big giant you know circular anything and you can actually turn this upside down but then you're gonna have to have wire going to the middle and the centerpiece and then pull it up to the middle and you could do that too you just won't you won't see this unless you turn it upside down you won't see this as a um, as a, a, a finial or a um, focal piece finials actually goes on top of a wood furniture but I don't know maybe it goes on everything else too I don't know all right, so I'm going to lay this out here, and I don't want my pieces going longer than that. So what I want to do, and it doesn't matter which colors, it doesn't have to be even, it doesn't have to be perfect. It needs to be whimsical. So, and I'm say that word, y'all should count how many times I've said the word whimsical in this video. Should do a prize and a giveaway for how many times I've said whimsical. All right, so let's see. Because then we got to have our, our you got to give our links. Let's do that. Let's open these up. So, because I'm, I'm thinking on the go here. So, we have two big ones. And let's do two. There's a medium one. Ooh, cat hairs everywhere. Oh, we got more than. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to probably show the video. Let's see, do I want the two big ones and the two little ones, or do I want two smaller ones? These are too big. I think these are too big for this. So let's do two medium ones and two small ones. There's a little one. There it is. Nope. Oh, it's like it looked even smaller. It's got nice little... Oh, there's one that's even smaller than that. How funny. Let's see, there we go. Those match. Alright. Actually, these big ones. Let's do that. Let's go even smaller. Mm -mm. So I got these. Wow. Look, we've got so many different sizes. This is so amazing. I need to order another couple of these packages. I'm trying to find, I got this on Amazon. I, I, I don't know if I posted the video or not. I'm assuming I did by what I'm saying. That's not it. Um, oh, I confound it. Okay, brother already. Nope, nope, and nope. Needs to be a little bigger. These are different. Musical. All right. I'm having the darndest time. Here we go. Two. And then four. There we go. Um, there's 30 of these. Oops. And there it goes. Anyways, there's 30 of these. And, um, got them on Amazon. Sorry, my brain was discompopulated while I was looking. I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. And so I will put a link to these um, down at, in, the, in the description. If I remember, 
They um, were $7.99, and there's 30 of them, and I went on um, Fire Mountain, and they had um, 10 of them for $4.99. I was like, no. Um, so, and I really, and I got these right away, and if I didn't like them, Amazon will take them right back. That's one thing I like about Amazon. All right, back to this. So, all right, so we want to have our length, and... We got to make a little bit of a thing there, so I mean you can have them because we want them to be able to we want them to be able to chime. So this needs to hit them and it may, needs to make them in a move. So that needs to be right about there. So I need two of these. So right here, my glasses on. I may have to get my other my other thing. And I might need it. So I'm going to take this down here. All right. Without losing that bead. Oops. Just kind of clip it off like that. And let's see. I think I need to come in just a little. Hopefully this doesn't start bouncing a whole bunch. And it is. Sorry. Don't mean, need, mean to make any of y'all seasick there. Hopefully it stops bouncing. Okay, well, the arm is... It works great if you don't move. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have, you know, a lot of uh, things going on. So, all right. So, here's my thing. Here's what I want to do. All right. Go back to what I'm doing. So, I'm going to hang in here, right about here. But... The loop is going to come up to here, so right about there is right where I'm going to be. And hopefully I measure this right. Hopefully I've got this down. I'm not, I'm not mechanical, well, I was mechanical, not anymore. That'll go with the dodo. Critical thinking is almost kaput, but not quite. Alright, so I went two of those, actually... Alright, so I want those hanging down there, and I want these hanging down there, too. Shush. Shush. So I need four of these. So, yeah. Okay. So, the dog barked it. Nothing. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know why she keeps doing that. She gets, she's not aggressive. She just protective. She's gotten overly protective. Maybe she senses something going on. And she just is going to be that way. All right, so there's another one. Okay, now they're all starting to bark. The refrigerator machine gun is one thing, but I think it's the neighbor's dog next door. I think they hear her. Or him. I don't know if it's a her or him, but they, ever since they moved in, they've been barking. So, and one more. So, right here. And I hope y'all are all doing well. I thank you so much for watching and participating and helping me out. And I, I don't get anything on these videos, but um, it helps me. Uh, uh, physically wise it helps me to do stuff and it inspires me to keep doing it and that keeps me busy and that keeps my mind going and it helps with me with cognition and helps me with dexterity so you're helping me with this it's not about money everything is not about money although it seems like it sometimes huh it seems like every every time you turn around something else is breaking down or something else is going on okay now I can't get into <laughs> the wire because oops I just knocked all my jump rings here because I am clumsy and I don't don't feel bad and don't feel, I'm not making fun of myself in a mean way I have it helps me to cope one two um it also helps me to accept certain things 
that I do have limitations now that I didn't always have and not to be angry or bitter about it, but to try to find humor in it. And that's how I've always lived my life. I always try to find the humor in things because, you know, uh, the other options are just too depressing. So anyways, I don't make fun of myself to, um, to bring, you know, make people feel bad about themselves or make people feel bad for me. I, I do it to, um, compensate for what I'm going through. All right, so I don't even know how I, there we go. There we go. That's what I did is I, because this thing bro was broken when I got it and it was just, um, cut into five different thousand pieces because they would pull pieces out and cut it because they couldn't get through it. So I tried to make some kind of heads or tails of it because I kept using it and pieces would come off. And so, um, it just was very annoying. So anyways, it's, that was my way of trying to make it work without trying to restring it on a, cause I, can, I don't know how you would even put that on a new spool. So maybe some of you do, that would be a really good video to do. Teach people how to, um, re-spool their stuff without ruining it. All right. So I'm not very good at this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat it like I would, a, a, um, a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, earrings or something. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to pull it right here. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to get a good twist going on it. And then I'm going to do something my dad taught me. When we used to uh, pull barbed wire fences. We had to attach it on there. Back in the day when I was a little kid. Or a young lady. A young teenager, whatever. Alright, so you after it's crossed... You just put your flat tip or pair of pliers, whatever you got. You're going to go, go in the direction of, of what you're doing. Okay? And just start. I don't want that part out. I want that part loose. Hold on. Okay, so I want to twist it. I'm going to twist it. But I don't want it to come down on top of this so I gotta make sure I'm pulling up as I do that and I make sure I have this sitting here because this needs to go through and be mobile okay so that's as far up as I need to go and I can clip this off or I can just sit there and do this really nicely and just loop it up okay but I don't need it up that far so I think I'm just going to clip this off right here. And what is those stupid cutters? Oops. Oop. Now that's why you put your finger over stuff so that doesn't happen. And I want to smash this down so it doesn't hurt anybody's fingers. And it just came undone. This is not my best work here right now. All right, so I just want a little bit of a loop going the other way. And you can take your pliers and do that with it. I just want this right here. Look, see how it's come out? And I want this to come up. All right, so I want this. This looks very, this doesn't look very nice. <laughs> this is not very good work. Uh, this is not my best work right here. This is a little bit, I didn't think this through right. But we'll make it work somehow. There we go. Okay, and it's that little end piece that I can't seem to get it. So, and I want to hold on to this because I don't want it to end up not being a hole. And I want to just put this around here. And then I got the end piece there going. And then I can just clip this off. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, this is going to be whimsical. So I'm not really trying really hard to make this like I would a pair of earrings or something. I'm trying to make this just look nice. And I think I just got that piece just a little bit. I did. Ugh, i got to be more careful. I made a burr on it. I got the burr off. Now see that piece right there? It's Sticking out that little piece that is giving me all the hard time. Okay. 
point it down <laughs> or it's going to go flying. Okay, so we have this here and you're going to make sure, I don't want people cutting their hands off on my stuff, right? We don't want, we want it to be whimsical, not dangerous. And it's going to turn it. Okay. I, the thing is, is I want, now it's not going to matter if these are not matching perfectly, okay? It's going to give it a little bit of a different length. It's going to give it a little bit of, like I said, it's whimsical. Um, if I was looking for precision, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd have a whole kit. So this is about being creative for yourself. So I want one on each side. I want one long one and one little one on each side. Okay, so. Let's see. And I'm gonna put this right about here. And I want it to cross over. And go over like this. Now, now I want to grab it. Let's see if I can do this now. Put my glasses back on. I give you all a nice look there. Look at that. Magnification. With my contact lenses in, that's an actual plus six. So I'm just going to turn this. And actually, I would normally turn, turn this thing. I want to hold on to it, though, so it doesn't... So it doesn't uh, shorten this piece right here again. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to just take this little piece like I did the other one. And I'm just going to clip it off. Oops. Sorry. There it goes up. Beyond an ocean. Okay. I saw a lady do an overhead one with wood. Where she, I mean, you know, and I, if I still had my woodworking tools, I could do that. Uh, I gave them to a friend because I thought I wouldn't use them anymore, like a dummy, which is the dumbest thing I've ever done because I could, I need them. I could use them totally. But um, you can make a little tiny thin jump ring out of that if you need to. All right, so I have it right about here. And I'm going to try to do the best I can to try to make it, to try to make it there. And I'm going to come around here. And what I'm going to do is just the last one I'm going to do right here. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, put this on pause while I do the other ones. So that I'm not wasting a whole bunch of time trying to tie these off. So, and then just flatten that out. Pull that up. And make sure my thing is flattened out. Make sure there's no burrs on that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to go ahead and do this other two real quick to get them done and out of the way. And then we're going to, and we're not going to be using a whole lot of jump rings because we're not going to need to. I need to go into my kit too to get that um, hook that I'm going to use. And hopefully the hook will work. I may have to make um, a, um, a um, whatchamacallit, onto that to put the hook onto it so it doesn't slide. So, all right. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, even if I touch it just to put the thing on it, it makes it bounce. I don't know, $16, it, when it's not being touched, it's perfect. I have so much room. So, until I get to be really, you know, very wealthy, where I can afford to get a nice stand that goes over it, this is what I got. And it's better than having those poles sitting there. That For me, that's for sure. I really like that a lot better. All right, so... This is dried, and I put my little things on my um, thing. Now, look at if you look at this, this is not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to be perfect, by all means, make it perfect. Make it however you want it. This is this, what I was telling you. Is that your beating world is it's your world. Beat it how you want it. All right, so, like, that's what I did for this ring. I made, I think I put that on another video. If you didn't see the video, I took these ring, um, they were ring bases, these two, and they had the flat tops, and I took it, and I took that, this is from the antique bead piece, um, our uh, video, and it was, I think it was a pin, uh, a brooch, um, but the, the middle part was cut out of it. It could have been a link, but I don't think so. It didn't have the uh, appearance of it. It looked like it was a brooch um, uh, with a pin. And so I thought that'd be a really cool ring. And I put it on this um, gunmetal one, which is an adjustable band, just to 
came with the um, previous uh, bead haul that I've done, one of the previous ones. And the same thing with this one, which I love the design on this one. And I put that turquoise on there. But if, you know, everything's not perfect. This, if you see how this on this one, boy, that glue that locked tight, it locks tight quick. It, I mean, super quick. And I didn't even have time to move this over to get it. And it just had already set in there, just adhered to it like really well. Um, but you can't see the glue because it's, um, the Loctite's clear, so it came out nice. And it's held this very heavy, and this is a heavy piece, onto this. And I love it. I just, I really do. I think it's really cool. But anyways, back to the drawing board here. Um, your uh, pieces here, um, that don't worry about it being um, perfect. But you do want to have it, and if you have to un undo a little bit on this, then you can. You want it to have it where it moves. It needs to be able to move in between. It needs to be loose. Now you can put a, you can put thread through this or a cord. People use cord. The problem with cord is that in the um, in the outside it gets um, uh, uh, dry rots unless you have something that's um, waterproof, not resistant, waterproof, and then it won't. Now. This is going to, if I hang it outside, this is going to have parts that rust on it. It just, it's part of what happens with any kind of metal unless it's, met, you know, uh, the metal that um, uh, is galvanized or whatever else that doesn't rust. So, anyways, I used to remember all that stuff. I don't remember it anymore. So, anyway, so I make sure that you can still move these through here. And I've got both, one on each side. I found my little thing. Now, this is gold and all this is silver. So um, what I might do um, is take this outside and spray paint it silver and do that or just keep it gold because again it's whimsical and there's some, you know, a little bit goldish tone and some of that. Not, you know, not a whole lot. Oh, and also when I brought these out because you can attach and I might go find my other kit. I have it somewhere where I have more of these little bells and attach the bells to this so it adds some more tingling to it. I, I love wind chimes. So, anyway. Alright, so back to this. Now, I I looked at this, and this is sliding, and without me, you know, like, I thought I could pick a, make a dent in it where it would be curved, but it'll pop out of that. It's just not long enough to not pop out. And so, I decided to take some of my aluminum um, uh, jump rings and just add these to the um, thing, and then hang them from here. So, and then this will hang from here, right here. Now this can hang, I don't know if this is going to make it on to that. I may have to clip it to it, to the thing there. And that's the puppy again, she's getting, she's, she's getting upset because everybody's downstairs and she's not. But I can't watch her and do this at the same time. Alright, so, close this one up. And then I'm going to put this one in. And then close it up and put my glasses on again. I'm put this on here. Oops. I don't think that's, I think this is too big for that. Yeah. Where is my other? <laughs> okay, the gate fell over. And she has the thing about gates. Because the cat tried to jump the gate. All right, so put this together here. Athena, knock it off. You're driving me crazy. Grab this here. I'm going to have to try to hold it with my thumb. Sometimes they don't want to get in there. This is actually a split ring opener, but... The end of the side of it does the job. And I just need to click it to this. And then put it back on there. Pull this one up here. And if it has a little bit of opening, it's not too bad because um, these are thick enough. They won't go through each other. But this other one up here, I want it to be, it's not thick enough, so. But I also don't want them opening. So, 
You can put some glue between them if you want to. Right now I'm not going to do any of that for this because it just takes too long. We're in 34 minutes. Okay, so here we have this. This is going to hang. Oops. This is going to hang. This was going to hang. Do, 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 do. Like that. And then these are going to hang from there. Isn't that be pretty? And um, I think with these little crystals, they're going to be really shiny and pretty. I can actually take some of the other crystals I have that I got that are the more the um, the uh, less expensive ones and um, put those put those in there. All right, so now I'm going to add these things to here. I'm going to take this off here real quick because it's just going to be in the way. I want to add this on here. So I'm just going to open this one up here, put it right here, and close it off. And close it off. So I can't see without my glasses on. I'm trying to have, to have them halfway on my nose and halfway on my... Close that down. Come on. There we go. I don't want the wind blowing that off. So here we go. All right. You can use just adjust it a little bit to make it where it belongs. Okay. So first off, I want to put this first one on here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through this right here, but I'm going to try. I might not be able to. And remember, I'm on this one here with this little orange one. That's my center point. I wonder if I can do it here. Let me see. Yeah, I can put it in there. It just needs to go. I wanted to make sure it was going to fit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this center one from here too. So I need to take this off here. And I'm going to bank it off of the, the metal itself to get it off. There we go. Now, whoops, there it is right there. See, it's just whimsical stuff it just I like trying to save stuff and especially when it's old old is new this was old made it new this wasn't old I didn't make it new but this is old and it just my gosh it's, I cannot believe it's still just as pretty as it probably was not this um, oxidized but all right so I want to kind of just pinch this down here because this one, I don't want it coming off. So, what I'm going to do, that's my center point right there, right? So, I'm going to put this in here. And then go right onto there. And I clip it on. And then it's going to hide that clasp a little bit. See? And it's hanging down like that. Isn't that pretty? And this is going to be so pretty. All right, now we want to go into each one, and all we really have to do is just hook ourselves into wherever um, those little beads are. So we're going to take the beads, and we're going to have them um, right next to it if they'll fit. If it doesn't, and if not, just hook them into the, oh, the jump rings. So I don't even need these jump rings. Hook them into the jump ring that's already on this. And I think that's just what I'm going to do is just hook it into this jump ring. And so let's do that. Deciding, making uh, making our, uh, what do you call it, executive decisions on the go. And I'm gonna, just going to see if I can do this. There we go. And see how that looks. I may have to put it underneath it. It may not. Let's see how that looks. No, it doesn't disturb it doesn't disturb it at all see how that how nice that came out I want to make sure that my jump ring is closed on both of them see how that one has a little bit of opening in there I don't want that because that will pop out so I'm gonna pull this and just kind of do that all right so now you see how it's gonna be see how it's gonna hang I may have to come out and go to the you know make this up higher or whatever and I will show this when it's hanging from the thing. And I know this is kind of long, but 
it's quirky. It's um, it's different, you know. And I want it to hang down. I want it to look like a piece of jewelry hanging from my thing. And I have a place where I'm going to hang this outside. So, anyways, all right. Let's see. I hate having to put my glasses on and off, on and off, on and off, like I do. It just there you go again. I shouldn't have. I'm just going to leave them on. I just don't like things sitting on my nose and. I, w I have contact lenses in, and it's like, why am I having to have these when I have my contact lenses in? But, again, this is accepting my, not limitations in a bad way, it's accepting my situation the way it is and making and adapting to it. There we go. I'm trying to adapt to my new environment. All right? So this is the other small one, so we'll just go ahead and put this one on here. Keep these over here so we can do that. And just work on this side. So we have this long one. And then we're going to do, on this blue one, we're going to do this short one. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And leave these little, um, these little feathers alone. Okay, so let's get this one right here. Grab a hold of it. Oops. Grab a hold of it. Okay, this puppy on here. back making sure that it's closed so we don't want it to and then making sure that this end here is closed and this loop looks a little bit shady so I'm gonna close that down even more and I just can just pull it by that bold part and then so I don't I don't want to squish where it has a ring because I want it to move okay so there's our two you can hear it isn't that pretty and these make good christmas presents i mean this is you know even if you can't sell it if you can't sell it you can give it away as presents and actually that, that actually made me start thinking you know how we did that um bead drawer uh thing um where we did the um drawing i thought about doing something with the jewelry i've already made it's on the, the terry designs page and putting stuff in surprise bags and selling surprise bags of jewelry for like five ten fifteen dollars depending upon whatever amount you choose is you know jewelry subsequent to that amount but it would be you know nice stuff that i've made not I may have to put this on pause because that is her. I gotta go potty cry. So either that or she's jealous because the other ones are down here. Because she's been getting uppity lately. Okay, let me fix this real quick because this is not wanting to go through that. I need to fix. So you just that's the whole thing about beating it. Everything's adjusting. Adjustment, adjustment, adjustment. Okay, so we see how this right here is just one click too many, and let's see, it's going that way, so I need to go, I need to unwind it, one going that way, maybe even two. There we go, I'm just making sure that that's not out of there where it's all discombobulated, there we go, and it's not, okay. She may be barking at the cat too, because that cat makes her mad. For you know, for such a little dog, she really they call that little man syndrome. She really she really just uh doesn't like um the cats at all. Alright, let's see. Alright, so I wanna put I'm actually gonna do ahead and fix this here. So that I'm not having to do that while I'm in there. And so that looks like that's pretty in much in there. And and I could be using my other tool for this, but I'm being lazy. Flatten that out. Make sure it's nice in there and snug. Alright, so next find this orange one. And I'm gonna put where's my little thing? Let 
Let's see. That little ball that's on the um, metal piece, that ball right here is getting in the way. All right, so this is the outer one, or the inner one. Okay. And there we go. It's nice and tight in there. I want to make sure that we're closed really well. Okay. And we are. Okay. And that's going to just be beautiful. Okay, and then one more. And that's this one here. Make sure our piece goes through, which it does. And you can see it, this is not, you know, jewelry quality um, uh, wire, you know, wire wrapping. I And I wasn't meaning it to be. Um, I just, like I said, I wanted something that was going to be whimsical. I want this squared off a little bit more so it can go through there more easy. There we go. That's why this 24 wire is like really good because it, or 26. Um, it might be 26. Maybe it is. All right. Let's get this here. Open this baby up just a little bit. Now, see this wire, this, this bead, this chain, it's probably a good 30 years old at least. And the patina, and for those of you who don't know what patina means, and I'm not being condescending because some of people don't know what patina is. Patina is the um, the unpolished, uh, it's a pretty word for dirt, almost. But it's like, you know, the metal's oxidized, it's gotten, you know, um, discoloration and different things like that. So if you have an antique piece, um, Nine times out of ten, you do not want to. Um, well, let's see, this little piece is actually broken. I'm going to have to be careful on this one. And it's been broken for a long time because the glass is very worn around that piece. So, all right. Like, I know somebody very close to me, and I'm not going to mention names, but somebody very close to me, well-meaning as they were, took the most beautiful brass candelabras um, that were cathedral. They were cathedral um, height and width, and they were beautiful. And they had a good 50 years worth of patina on them, which means they weren't polished. But they looked this beautiful color, and they looked very gothic. And they polished them. So those things went from being worth probably, you know, several thousands of dollars to being worth a couple of, you know, like 50 bucks just from taking the patina off. So, I always ask if you don't know. <laughs> so, mistakes were learned, you know, the hard way. But, you know, they still were pretty, but they were nowhere near as pretty to me and to other people who liked that stuff. They weren't as pretty as they were before they had that patina taken off of them. All right, so here we go. Now here's this beautiful, and you can hear it clinking already, and these beautiful little things have their own little chime. Um, and there's our beautiful chain. I see it's like that, isn't that beautiful? And it's just gonna hang so pretty. And I can actually hang it from this by itself and just do that, but I'm not, because it's actually, when it's on this, it rocks a whole lot more. So I'm gonna get that jingling thing that I want. Now look at that. And I still have chain to spare to make other pieces. This is a unique piece. Nobody's going to have anything like it because they didn't make it. Some of you may say oh, that's kind of ugly, whatever. It's, But to me, it's not. To me, I think it's beautiful. I think it's very whimsical. It's going to look really pretty on the outside of, um, of my house. And um, it's going to be just hang there all nice and pretty with the other ones that are out there. And this one won't shine as much as the other ones. It won't glimmer. It will a little bit on these on these um, this glass uh, beads might shine a little bit. But it's going to have that noise that I want. But I can actually add crystal to this if I want to. All this inexpensive crystal that's still really good. I can hang all this stuff. I can just attach it to these beads. Just how they are. Just ha hang little ones on there if I wanted to. That's uh, just... On this one is too too much, so 
um, on another one. I'll, you know, do that where I have more glimmer and I have bigger beads. Um, here's another one I'm going to use that I got in that, um, just going to put um, a piece through that so that it will go into a centerpiece down another one. So, anyways, this is 50 minutes. I know it's been a long time. Um, as I said, I'm going to hang this on here, but I think I'm going to, you know, I actually think I'm just going to leave it as is. This is color, it's colorful. And so this is going to go hang outside. Let me pull this on here because this is going to have to go down. All right, so this is going to go hang on a, a hook outside and be just as beautiful as, as it um, as it is. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you have a very blessed day.